Welcome to Tell Me the Treasures. Today we're learning Kedushin page 12, which discusses, as we've been mentioning, there are actually three ways in which a man can marry a woman, which is called Kedushin, the first of the stages. One is by giving her something of monetary value. The second is by giving her some form of a document which verifies that he wishes to marry her. And the third is with Bia, which is with sexual relations. Now, this is actually derived from the Torah itself, as we've seen in previous pages, that a person can marry a woman in this way. However, it's brought down here that even though technically the Torah says it's 100% acceptable, nonetheless, Rav, this great rabbi, he used to impose his authority by making sure that people did not act inappropriately. And some of the ways that he would do this would be by giving a person what's called malchus or lashes. And I'd like to share with you a few reasons why he did this or when he did this to a, to a man and perhaps discuss again the reason for it. So first of all, if a man marries a woman literally in the marketplace, another is where he marries a woman by just having sexual relations with her. Another is if he marries her without what's called a shidduch. A shidduch, which nowadays is you go to like a matchmaker and they match you up. But basically it means that you just, on a whim, marry someone without a whole lot of thought. And it gives other reasons as well, which we'll discuss in a moment. But the idea behind this is Rob wanted to make sure that women were treated with great levels of respect, with great levels of dignity. Now, even though technically the Torah does allow certain things, that doesn't mean necessarily that's the best way of going about it. There are other options in marrying. And therefore, if a person would, for example, marry a woman in the marketplace, well, what's the big deal? Maybe it's nice to do so with a lot of cameras rolling. That's not what it's referring to. A marketplace in general is a place where people go to purchase their items. They buy things and they sell things, which it makes it look like the relationship of a man and a woman is transactional. That here you are, you're going into a marketplace and you're buying this woman, so to speak which is a great level of disrespect. And of course, that is totally against the very foundation of what is Kedushin, which comes from the word Kadosh, something which is holy, which is sanctified. Marriage is holy. And therefore, if you cheapen it to the point that it gives the appearance that you're just like going to a marketplace and purchasing some clothes or purchasing some food, and you're also getting married, that cheapens the entirety of the relationship. And when a person starts a relationship, it must be built on a very strong foundation. And therefore, because of that, he says, you're gonna get lashes. This is totally unacceptable. And it's the same thing when it comes to Bia. Of course, that is a major <clears throat> aspect of marriage, intimacy. But to initiate the relationship in this way is something in which doesn't look right. And therefore, instead, a person should be marrying a woman with money or the document and not with Bia, not with intimate or sexual relations. And the same thing when it comes to no shidduch. If you don't put any thought into it, you just walk up to a woman and just automatically give her money and say, marry me, and she accepts it. But again, it looks very cheap in everyone's eyes. And therefore, that is not something which a person should do. And therefore, Rav, who wanted to strengthen in everyone's mind the importance of marriage and the foundation of marriage, would tell people these things are unacceptable, and if you did these things, you would be punished.